and this is volume five of my, uh, yeah, volume five of my read through the Daily Telegraph. And it's down here, a gamer and a, and a case of swatting. American gamer was shot in the face by police after a Coventry man made a swatting call. So that was somebody in Coventry in the United Kingdom was uh, had some sort of a, a rivalry with this gamer in America. Uh, where was that? Maryland. And he made a terrorism call. Uh, we know about this. This has happened to Tim Poole a few times and he has said somebody will be killed eventually. And this guy was damn nearly killed. Walter McDade called a Maryland terrorism hotline posing as rival Tyron Dobbs and claimed he had plastic explosives and three hostages. Warwick Crown Court heard. So he was tried here in Britain. He told the operator the first hostage would be executed in 15 minutes unless he received $15,000 in cash. Uh, believing the, swap was, the, the threat was real, a SWAT team swooped on Mr. Dobbs' home and shot him in the face and chest with plastic bullets. Mr. Dobbs suffered life-changing injuries and required reconstructive facial surgery following the raid on February the 18th, 2015. That is absolutely horrible. And of course, the police, they're going to go in, you know, uh, of full frontal because this guy was supposed to have uh, hostages. They couldn't mess around and their own lives could be in danger as well. I don't know how you get around that. That guy, uh, how much did he get for this? He was sentenced to 20 months in prison, suspended for 18 months. That is nothing. It's supposed to have a maximum sentence of 20 years. And he should have had that because that poor fellow who got the face full of plastic bullets, he is going to live the rest of his life with that, which I hope is more than 20 years. And I hope that he's not too badly um, injured, but he had to have reconstructive surgery. And he had uh, 20 months in prison, suspended for 18 months, which I uh, believe means that for the next 18 months, he has to be behave himself. That's all. That's a disgrace. That is just horrible. And then somebody uh, says here, some uh, legal person says, British-based offenders who hide behind online anonymity to commit serious crimes abroad, abroad will not escape justice. Oh, but they will, because this guy has escaped justice. 20 months prison sentence suspended for 18 months. That's nothing. That is nothing. That man nearly got somebody murdered. He committed an act of murder, attempted murder. And uh, now that poor fellow is going to spend the rest of his life with all sorts of problems. That is a disgrace. All right. Well, yeah, that's the end of uh, volume, uh, volume five. You can help my channel by clicking like, by subscribing, by clicking the notification bell and by sharing if you're so inclined. Links to my other channels are in the description, also links to donation sites. But really, the best way you can help me is simply by clicking like. Thank you.